So before I got into sale, um, I probably had a, um, a skewed view of the type of person that was in sale. And um, I would have said, oh, to be in sales, you need to have the gift of the gap. You need to be able to sell ice to Eskimos, you know, this sort of thing. Um, I don't think that anymore. And I'm sure that you feel the same, but that's not really true, is it? Well, well, it's nice you have communication skills. Let's let's rephrase it that way, and that you're good at communicating. Uh, I'm not sure you have to have the quote unquote the gift of gab, but let's step back just for a second and say that everybody, so that everybody is listening and and uh, someday to this podcast, everyone is in sales though. Mm. If you go into what career you choose, we're all in sales because we're selling either a widget, a concept, or ourselves every day. I mean, I've got to convince my wife to try to get things done. So that's the one thing that I think some people don't like the word sales because sales equates to, God, do you have to talk a lot or do you have to have the gift of gab or, you know, this and this. But let's just be realistic to say that we all are in this business of sales. Now, how do we do it? And yes, I agree, you don't have to be the most extroverted person or the, uh, have the greatest gift of gab, but you do have to have some really good um, communication skills. Communication skills, yeah. And listening is, you know, they say, you know, um, two ears, one mouth, you know, that's using in that proportion. And that, you know, it's, it's a question, it's a, it's a matter of using questioning to uncover people's needs and then matching the solution that you've got to those needs. Um, and that's, I think, the skill, not just talking, and not just trying to force your product on somebody where it may not be right for them. I agree completely, because just remember something. The customer doesn't have to figure you out, but we have to figure the customer out. And that's what, you, that's what you're trying to say with listening, mm. make sure that you're uncovering a need that fits them. Because if you're not really good, Again, you've got to figure the customer out. They don't ever have to figure you out. I agree. I mean, you say one of your chickens in your first book is people don't buy from salespeople because they understand their product, but because the salesperson understood their problems. And, you know, I, I fully agree with that. And, and I think that questioning and layered questioning is the way to, un, to identify their problems and see whether your solution is right for them. Yeah, because if you solve someone's problem, you always have them in your pocket. Yeah. In your pocket, you've built that trust and that loyalty, and they'll be there for a long time. And I don't think people understand that problem solving is really part of all of this, what we're talking about. And I, use, I mean, you say, um, do what you say, and, uh, 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 and when you say it. Um, and, and I used to um, really pride myself on that when I was working in sales, but even now when I'm supporting students or whatever. I, I feel very proud um, to always follow up on what I say I will do. And I think a lot of people don't do that. And I think, I, I think that's a differentiator. That's something that, that makes good people probably better than, than others, that you do what you say and, you, and when you say you'll do it. I mean, I couldn't agree more. It's the, probably the biggest differentiator uh, between great uh, people and careers and sales careers. It doesn't matter what career you're in versus good. And, and I really believe in do what you say you're going to do, but do it when you say you're going to do it. So I tell people all the time that, you know, if someone says that to be here tomorrow morning at nine o'clock at my office, I say, I, I'm, I would guess you probably want to get there by 830. You, you want to be on times to be on early. You don't want to take a chance be there but just do what you say you're going to do and do what you say you're going to do and if you leave, live by that credence in any career you choose you'll be more successful than than, than you ever realize Absolutely. it is the biggest weakness i've seen across all industries in all careers of all people is is they don't follow up following up you know is that means you'll be very very successful Absolutely right. 